Well, hello, wanted to say welcome back to my vlog channel and this being my second video, uh, still trying to figure out the YouTube algorithm and what I want to do with it. Um, I'm sitting on the beaches of Maui right now, uh, here in Paia Bay, uh, the town of Paia, P-A-I-A. Very beautiful little older town. Uh, I've spent the last couple days running around the island and in Lahaina. Uh, highly recommend going to happy hour at uh, Mick Fleetwood's Fleetwood's on Front Street. If you are a fan of uh, music culture and enjoy uh, Fleetwood Mac as well as uh, there's an artist gallery downstairs for the Beatles and and everything. It's a beautiful area and you don't have to wait two months to get in. You can just go for a happy hour and then everything's half price. So very beautiful uh, restaurants. Recommend sitting outside. The bagpipe player that played for over an hour was uh, awesome. He was really good. He, had, he gave a really good uh, cultural history of the island. But, um, but anyways, just wanted to kind of post my second video here from the island of Maui. Just got uh, off the island of Kona. Uh, Kona to me, I like a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more of a um, relaxed vibe. Here, it is very relaxed, of course, it's Hawaii, but um, things are just uh, a little bit more resorty. Uh, you don't get that in certain areas of Kona, but you pretty much get that anywhere here. Um, the bagpipe player from Fleetwoods the other night said you really should look at the real history of the Hawaiian Islands and not the ABC-ified version. That being the store that's on the islands, ABC store. And uh, he also said not to look at it from the Disney perspective of the Hawaiian Islands. And I agree, that's 100% what I go after when I'm traveling. And when I'm uh, just chilling, enjoying the island, you wanna take in locals. Uh, you know, local vibes. You want to experience things how the locals experience it. And uh, I mean, hell, these public beaches are the best place to enjoy the islands and watch the waves come in and go out and snorkel. It's gorgeous. Um, so anyways, just gonna keep documenting my journey. Um, really no order. At some point I'll, I'll go into some of my past travel journeys uh, that I've been on, but also keep you guys up to date on my, my present journeys. So in the next um, couple weeks, I'm going to be heading out to New Hampshire and I will fly back into Los Angeles. I'm Los Angeles based. I will fly back into Los Angeles. I will load up my two dogs and I will start to travel uh, across uh, country and stop off in my hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. Maybe get a chance to show you guys some fun things in Louisville. And then I will head on up to New Hampshire where I, where I have some vested interest uh, of what I'm gonna do. And I'll tell that story a little bit more into my journey. Um, I love to road trip. I love to drive places. I despise having to go through airports and airport security and deal with the bullshit of, you know, being told what you can and can't take on a flight. Um, my sunscreen was confiscated, not when I flew from LA, LA didn't care, but when I left Kona, they confiscated it. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of silly what they what they do and don't choose to confiscate, obviously, for, for whatever reasons. So anyways, uh, yeah, just enjoying the island of Maui. And I have to say that it's just freaking gorgeous here. I mean, you take a turn, the, the best part right in the middle of the islands are all these uh, mountains. And you take a turn and the weather changes, you take a turn and the, you know, the, the uh, you know, sun glazing off the, the mountains and the beach turns. I mean, every, every turn of this island is a different experience. And to date, I've been to Oahu for about two months. I've been to Kona uh, three times now. And then I've been, uh, it's my first time on Maui. And uh, 
like I said, even though I like Kona a little bit better, uh, Maui is gorgeous. Mau Maui is gorgeous. I'll definitely have to make it back to uh, Lanai uh, and um, and Kauai at some point. The two uh, flower islands. I'm a big gardener and enjoy gardening, so I like watching, checking out the flora and fauna of the island. But uh, give you guys a quick uh, beach surf report here. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the waves are coming in a little bit harder than they have the last couple days on Maui. When I was in Kona, the waves for two or three days were coming in about uh, eight to 10 feet high. Um, I just did a big event uh, in Ironman on the island of Kona and luckily it, it calmed down that day. But, uh, but yeah, it seems like the waves are starting to pick up a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit more uh, weather come in. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay with my earpiece. Um, if you're ever in Pae Paea, I think it's the name of it. Cute little town, tons of boutiques, a little overpriced, but tons of boutiques to check out, tons of clothing. Um, I went to the Paea coffee shop uh, and it is awesome. Super uh, bohemian vibes, fun little place with uh, a lot of artwork and just a cool place to check out. And um, so yeah, just kind of enjoying the island life. It's really nice. Um, I'll be going back to uh, travel across the country where it's, uh, I'm hearing it's getting hotter, but but not, not near as, as gorgeous as it, as it is here in Hawaii. So if you've never been to Hawaii, I highly recommend really recommend uh, checking out the islands and experiencing all of its beauty. And I, I, I state again, make sure that you check out the local vibe. Don't, I mean, you can stay at a resort and you can enjoy the, the resort pools, obviously, and have a good time, but make it to the local spots. There's so many great local spots. A lot of the locals are moving off this island because they can't support themselves or, you know, these big, conglomerates of Marriott and Hilton and all these places are taken over and sucking out all the profits that would normally go to locals. And and seriously, I, I really recommend checking out the local culture um, and just taking, taking the beauty that is the Hawaiian Islands. Um, I, I can point out that while I was here, uh, my plans all got changed and I was able to, and I ended up staying at a different hotel than I was going to. I ended up taking the bus system all over Maui and I can't recommend it enough. There, it's $4 for an all day pass on the, the Maui bus system and you can go everywhere. I've been to all four corners of the island. The only place you cannot go with the bus system is up to Hana. So you wouldn't be able to take the 45 minute drive up the road to Hana, but everywhere else you can get by the bus system and it's $4 for an all day pass. So you could bounce here to another part of the island and you really take it all in. It'll drop you off at any major like shopping district. Uh, that's what dropped me here at uh, uh, Pae. And um, you can go to Lahaina, you can go up the coast here on the Eastern side. Uh, you can go all the way over to uh, Wailea, you know, to any of the resorts down there. So I highly recommend using the, the $4 day bus pass to get, to get yourself around. Uh, again, taking in local culture, taking in the chance to, to see local, local vibes. Um, I don't, you know, as Americans, I don't think we appreciate our bus systems enough. We don't appreciate that it's a super inefficient way to get around. If I would have come up here, it would have cost me $80 in an Uber or Lyft, or easily that if I would have rented a car for the day. And here I spent $4 to get up to this part of the island, and now I'm gonna jump over to, uh, probably gonna jump over to one of the other sides of the island for dinner tonight or something like that. So definitely worth it. Um, 
highly recommend coming to check out the Hawaiian Islands if you ever get the chance. Um, and yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So uh, thanks again for watching my YouTube channel and hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I, I guess I have to start doing this. Uh, you should like, subscribe, and, and thumbs up my, my videos. Uh, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love. Uh, really just trying to enjoy some, uh, currently some, some Hawaiian vibes, but more travel vibes and love for travel, love for uh, local culture, uh, history. So if you like any of that, definitely want to check out my future videos. I, I'm starting to feel like a YouTuber all of a sudden. Anyways, uh, I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and support, guys. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.